Welcome back to The Second Perspective. Today, we're going to fact check Fauci. While giving a lecture on September the 8th, he made a bold claim about COVID's impact on children. We have lost more children from SARS-CoV-2 than we ever lose for influenza. And for this reason, he says, I, I come down strongly on ultimately vaccinating our children. The first question any logical thinker should ask is, what age group are we talking about here? To find the answer, we head over to the CDC's weekly updates, scroll down to table one, and there we can see that he was referring to a large group ranging from babies to 17-year-olds. There are two things to take note of here. Firstly, as of September the 8th, 2021, the group under 17 years of age had 412 deaths involving COVID. Secondly, there is a little note indicated by this number in brackets. Scroll just below this table and we learn that not all of the deaths in this table are actually confirmed COVID. Some are simply presumed based on symptoms. This is high quality medicine here. But sarcasm aside, the implication is that there were actually less than 412 COVID deaths in this group. How much less, we'll probably never know, but one thing we do know is how many in this group died if they were healthy. I'll let a professor from the Johns Hopkins Medical School explain. Tell us how many healthy kids died because that makes a big difference. We looked at 48,000 COVID cases in healthy kids and no one, no healthy kid died. No healthy kid died of COVID. The mortality rate was zero among healthy kids. So now we see the picture more clearly. The COVID deaths over the past 18 months has ranged from zero for healthy children up to a likely maximum of 412 for those who were less healthy. The only remaining piece of data we need is the deaths caused by the flu. For this, we go to the CDC's page on influenza disease burden, click on past season estimates, and find the most devastating year of influenza. In our case, that was the winter encompassing the end of 2012 to early 2013. First, you'll notice that since not all flu deaths are reported, the CDC provides an estimate with the range of minimum and maximum deaths. Secondly, you'll notice that the group we are interested in is broken into two groups, so we'll just simply add these two numbers to get the minimum and add these to get the maximum to find that the flu killed between 450 to over 2800. And here is the kicker, whereas the deaths due to COVID cover an 18-month period since the pandemic began, the flu managed to rack up these deaths in only seven months. And lastly, in case the picture was not clear enough, pay close attention to this final point. Though COVID has been unable to kill any healthy youngster, the flu on the other hand is certainly more than capable. In the CDC's own words, half of flu-related deaths occurred in otherwise healthy children. Though we'd really love to conclude with an evidence-based summary, we have unfortunately used up our independent thinking allowance for the day. We'll therefore have to redirect you back to the most trustworthy man on the planet. So, once more with feeling, here is the expert opinion. We have lost more children from SARS-CoV-2 than we ever lose for influenza. I, I come down strongly on ultimately vaccinating our children. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to subscribe and visit our channel for more videos on The Second Perspective.